All right, thank you, Sarah. The results are in from yesterday's big election, and you're looking at the unofficial results from that biggest race of the night, Salt Lake City Mayor. Right now, Aaron Mendenhall has a big lead over Luz Escamilla, 58 to 41. Aaron Mendenhall back with us this morning. Thanks for being with us here today again, Aaron. There's nowhere else I'd rather be this early in the morning. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't believe it, but I will take it. Is it too close or is it too early to say congratulations? It is. It's too early. There's thousands of ballots out there still. How many, we're not exactly sure, but we'll be waiting for the county to publish those tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so now yesterday I asked you if you felt confident in the poll numbers going into the election. We're seeing the results from the election here this morning. Mm -hmm. How do you feel today? like I was right yesterday. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the, the polls <laughs> haven't been predictive in the past and last night's results show that the polls weren't predictive in this case either. Um, still, I'm showing that I'm ahead, but we'll see what happens in the final count. Did you get any sleep last night at all? I did, I went out like a light, woke up at five o'clock this morning. <laughs> okay. I hope, hope to have a catch up time later this afternoon perhaps, but it's a great feeling. I feel peaceful at this point. The cake is in the oven. We'll see how it comes out when the county gives us some final results. Yeah, this must be the, probably the easiest part of the campaign. No work is left to be done right now. Maybe so. Uh, we're in a good position, at least at this point, it feels comfortable. Um, it's a bigger lead than we'd expected, but it was a great campaign and Senator Escamilla did a great job. And of course, we offered to have Senator Escamilla on here this morning. She declined to come back on the air today. When do you find out the official results? You said there's still thousands still out there being processed. Yeah, perhaps not till Friday, but ultimately the final canvas is Tuesday, November 18th. And that's when the election results are really formally solidified. Sure, so we still have some time left. Quite right now, bit. you have a lead in this race we're seeing from last night. We just had the political experts from Utah's Hinckley Institute of Politics on moments before, and Morgan Lancotti said, your race, the results from this race are a surprise. Why do you feel that is? I think, again, we rely on polls a lot, mm -hmm. or at least you know the pundits do and people watching politics. Um, we knew in the primary that what we were feeling and what we were seeing out on the doors, we have a pretty strong, sophisticated ground game on my campaign. So not um, a surprise for you. Was not reflective. You. Well, this, this kind of a gap, at least at the point we're at today, uh, we, we didn't have to predict that actually, but we saw that we had a lot of momentum. We were definitely uh, connecting with people who were undecided and persuading a lot of people to get those ballots cast. So we felt the momentum. Uh, it's really hard to predict that digit and the double digit that sure. we're looking at today. That's why we do the election. That's why we count those votes. That's for sure. Every vote matters. So until it's done, it's not done. So let's say the momentum continues to go your way as we're seeing here this morning. If you're elected Salt Lake City Mayor, what's the first thing you're going to do? I think it's a little early, um, but air quality, as you've already been talking about this morning, is mm -hmm. the reason I came into politics. Sure. It is an ongoing crisis for us along the Wasatch Front. But it's also getting cold out, and I think that the homelessness crisis that we're dealing with as a city, county, statewide community right now um, is yet to be determined. Without the South Salt Lake facility up and running, we don't really know what the on-street needs are going to be coming into December, January. So I think whoever the next mayor is will be dealing with homelessness and working with those stakeholders very closely in the next couple of months. And of course, as throughout the campaign, and both you and Luz Escamilla talked about the air quality, you talked about the homeless issue, mm -hmm. the Inland Port was another big thing. Have you heard from Luz Escamilla either last night or this morning? No, not yet but there haven't been that many hours since last night and this morning, sure. so we'll <laughs> I'm sure we'll, we will connect. I kind of feel like though with politics, we assume you had a late night last night and an early night this morning, and you're up watching those numbers as we are here today. We are, we hear from the county that we won't see any updates until tomorrow at about 3 p.m., so we'll see if that remains the case today. So we're looking forward to that. So yeah. if that turns out to be the way we are seeing it here this morning, we may be saying congratulations to the new Salt Lake City Mayor, Aaron Mendenhall. Again, possible still results pending here. Aaron, thanks for being with us here My this morning. My pleasure. Thank you. You betcha. Sarah, over to you.